Hi, I'm Vanessa King, Head of Psychology and Workplaces at Action for Happiness and I'm here to welcome you to Optimistic October, which relates to our key of direction, having goals to look forward to from our 10 keys to happier living. And I'm going to share three tips to try this month. Of course, right now, there are a lot of challenges in the world. So maintaining a sense of optimism and hope is really important because optimism and hope are associated with higher well-being, greater resilience and a solution focused approach to dealing with problems that are within our control, even though there's a lot of stuff that isn't in our control, of course. But st and studies show that even if we are more naturally a pessimist, that there are actions we can take that can give us an optimism boost that can help us kind of overcome difficulties. And so here are three actions inspired by research studies that you can try this month. So my first tip is what I'm calling 531. So maybe starting today, um, at some point later, later on today, or even right now, reflect on five things that make you feel life is enjoyable, worthwhile or enriching in some way and write them down. Tomorrow, write down three things that help you see the bright side of a difficult situation or help you see the silver linings. And the day after that, on day three, write down one goal that you'd like to accomplish in the next day or two, so it doesn't have to be big, and the steps, importantly, the steps that you're going to take to, to get there. And try those three um, daily lists, if you like, um, um, each, each week um, or more frequently over the next month and see what you notice. So that's five things on day one um, that help you see the bright side, one, um, uh, th three things that help you see the bright side and one goal that you'd like to accomplish in the next um, day or two and see how you, see how you get on. Tip two is a real classic um, from positive psychology that has been shown to help boost people's optimism. It's called our best possible future self. Here's how to do it. So you imagine your, uh, your life in the future and that everything has gone out, um, or turned out as well as it possibly could. And you've, you've worked hard and any challenges or uh, challenging circumstances or situations that you have have changed just enough to enable that this best possible life to happen. Now spend 20 minutes writing freely. You don't have to worry about grammar or things making sense. This is just for you. Write freely about the best possible life um, that you've imagined and describe all the different aspects of your possible life in as much detail as possible. And you continue that or repeat that for the next four days. Then on day five, write yourself a letter describing the steps you took starting from where you are now that helped you um, reach that best possible life. So you're imagining from where you are now into the future and the steps you've taken. See how you get on. Tip three is called anticipatory savouring. So we're all um, often used to savouring things in the present, but we can do that with things that are in the future too. So find something that you can look forward to enjoying over the, you know, in the next short while. It doesn't have to be a long way off and it doesn't have to be big. It could be trying out a new recipe over this, over the, um, the, this coming weekend or going on a walk with a friend. Now spend some time really visualizing that activity. What can you see? What can you hear? What can you smell? What can you feel? Bring to mind what you'll really enjoy and feel good about that situation and then just really enjoy that for the moment and you can do that of course wherever you are whatever you know whenever you need a little short break you know to think forward into something in the near future that you can look forward to so recap on the three tips this month the first one is five three one so um first day writing down five things that make life enjoyable enriching and worthwhile the next day, three things um, that help you see the downsides of difficult, the upsides of the difficult situations and the silver linings. Um, and on the third day, one goal for the next couple of days and the steps you'll take to get there. Repeat that um, each week for the next month. See how you go. The second activity is spending 20 minutes a day writing about the best possible life for you. Um, 
and then on the fifth day um, the le a letter to yourself on the steps you took to get there and the third is finding something that you've got coming up um, that you can um, look forward to and enjoy and really bringing to mind visualizing and imagining um, that in full detail so you can savor it now um, which will actually help you um, look forward to it even more so please share um, how you find those activities um, and what you're looking forward to um, in on any of our social media channels the app on YouTube or on our Facebook page uh, um, we look forward to hearing from you and um, I'll see you again next month um, hope you have a good month